Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. So, today I want to make another video about Titania. So, we have her at a 6 star rank 3 level and we're using Suicide Masteries. But basically today we're going to be using her with some synergies as well. So, the only synergy I'm not going to be using is the Mystic Fantastic synergy. It's a really nice one for her. Because like each time you play debuffs, uh, you play those power things as well. And she literally applies debuffs on specials, special on each special, uh, heavy attack and light attacks. Like every single debuff, even through block uh, from specials and the basic attacks. But I want to showcase like her own synergies. And the first one we're using here is the She-Hulk. So we start the fight with 10 Fury passives, which is really nice because it literally helps you to build up your damage at the start. And then your Fury effects gain 25% duration. And this is amazing because like each time you play one debuff, you get a Fury. So having them lasting 25% longer, it really helps uh, to keep your damage going. And then another great synergy, probably her best synergy, it's with the champion. So intercepting the opponent's, uh, the opponent pauses Titania's Fury passives for two seconds, which is really nice. And then you reduce the Haymaker's cooldown by 5 seconds. So Haymaker is like the time you see here, 28 seconds. And basically each time you intercept, you're going to see a pause uh, buff right here. I, I, I'm going to try and intercept here. Let's see. The AI sometimes in Room Legends doesn't really want that to happen. But I think I'm going to... Yep. You can see here, the pause uh, buff for 2 seconds. And then you reduce the cooldown by 5 seconds. So having that reduced by 5 seconds is really, really, really nice. Because it makes you feel unstoppable, man. You can always count on this uh, Haymaker. Because you're like unstoppable, unblockable, and indestructible. And then you can get those free intercepts. Because like even if you miss it, you got that uh, indestructible going and unstoppable. So yeah, man. You can see we start the fight with 10 Furies. And here I'm trying to go for some intercepts. So we can keep, keep them for the SP3. And Titania is actually amazing for Juggernaut. Because she applies staggers on uh, heavy attacks. Which is amazing. Uh, but yeah, man, you can see that the Haymaker's cooldown is just literally, um, I can have it in like less than 10 seconds. Because like, you reduce it with your own abilities and the synergy. And then I'm trying a cool thing right here. Uh, I'm basically, I don't think I'll do it here, but I did in the Cup Marvel fight. So, when you have the Unstoppable, Destructible, Unblockable, what I'm doing is like blocking one hit and then dashing in quickly. And that counts as an intercept. It's kind of like the ability that like uh, Killmonger has with his uh, special one, uh, those yellow buffs. But yeah, I I'm pretty sure I'm gonna showcase it here. And also, what we're do uh, another thing we're using is Dr. Doom. So with Dr. Doom, basically, uh, your debuffs has have 50% more ability accuracy for each synergy on the member. And if, if you kill off Dr. Doom, uh, it doubles the effect. So the only reason I have that is basically for uh, the Intimidate on the SP3, I want to be more potent so that uh, the defender uh, stays blocking. Because uh, like, you know, with a special 3, you have them in the corner, you want to spam those 3 heavy attacks until you have the Haymakers. And sometimes like, they're not going to fall for that, but they usually do. Like 90% 90, 90 of the fights, uh, of the times, definitely uh, keep blocking. Especially if you have a high seek Titania and then apply a second Intimidate with one heavy attack. So yeah. So here we're gonna see a much a better AI. I think I'm gonna do the trick here. Yeah, see, I block one hit and then dash in quickly, and that counted as an intercept. Uh, as you saw, the the pause buff was there. But yeah, this is a much better AI. And here I believe I'm going for the physical vulnerability because it's a, a longer fight, and it's so easy to keep that refresh. Like literally, even with an unawakened Titania, you just do four uh, light attacks and you pause it, or sorry, refresh it. Which is really nice. I think I'm going to do it right here. I did. So yeah. And we got a double debuff as well. Because we are awakened and seek 200. So yeah. I'm going to go for the special 3. Get, make sure he doesn't have much power. So there we go. And one thing I noticed. Is like. I really like playing Titania with special 3. And the good thing about that is that. Her special 3 is like a very quick animation. So if you were to use her like in Battlegrounds, it, it wouldn't eat, like, eat, eat up too much of your time. It's probably like less than 10 seconds. It's one of the quickest SP3s I've probably ever seen. Uh, so that's that makes her, I don't know, good. Because like even uh, as a defender, she could be really tricky with some certain metas. Because like if she gets a lot of debuffs on you, it's going to be rough with those Furies. 
and then she has that haymaker so that kind of like the kitty pride uh intercept you know so, like if you forget it uh she's gonna <laughs> definitely do a lot of damage uh but yeah here we get hit it's like this playstyle that we're doing here it's kind of uh risky because we're literally intercepting each five seconds uh so that's definitely difficult to do but yeah as you can see man his health is like 50 percent and we've only done f only one, one special three so yeah and then with our special three we're gonna bait this one out i think i'm gonna refresh the physical vulnerability i'm not sure yes oh did i i uh I think I'm trying to. Yeah, I did. Okay, there we go. <laughs> okay, because sometimes you forget. Now I just want him to have low power. But I want to keep intercepting. Like, her light attack is a very... Um, it pushes you, like, close to him. So, like, if they don't fall in, in for that, uh, you get hit. It's kind of like Hercules. But yeah, we're going to go for the heavies. We got Intimidate Deepos. We got two. We got another one. We got two again. And then four. Nice. And then here, they're going to throw the special. Look at those Deepos, dude. Wow. <laughs> and we got 65 furies our damage is definitely getting up there 17k medium attack really not too bad haymaker is already in play man and we're gonna go for a huge sp2 sp2 here that was a pretty good one yeah 37k that was like over 60k sp2 i'm, uh, I'm gonna say and then you can keep your damage as well with that synergy uh plus with the she hulk like see if you keep intercepting haymaker is still in play and we just used it that's that's what i'm talking about it's, it's so satisfying to like if the opponent falls into your intercept and then another special two bro with 60 furies like that was the perfect ai and we kept that haymaker having those free intercepts free healing with poison and then keep pausing those furies and literally threw two special twos with the sp3 uh, furies which was amazing like this was actually a very quick fight i, I think this is a three minute and 20 second fight or three 350 so yeah man that's that's pretty much it for titania i don't know like if i were to to pull her like she has really good synergies like even the, the champion synergy makes the champion really really good because he basically uh treats all all fighters uh basically as as how's it say contest great fighters now include every champion yeah so basically he gains like his abilities i think they have less cooldowns on his furies uh which is actually really nice and then even She-Hulk, like she deals uh, physical damage equal to 75% of their base attack rating for each debuff of the opponent. And you can have a lot of debuffs with She-Hulk as well. She has those exhaustions, uh, the slow. So yeah, man, like she is really interesting. And, and you know, I, I like those uh, kind of champions where you like have those intercepts with like Kitty Pride, you know, with Haymaker. And this synergy really made me feel like I was almost playing Kitty Pride because you literally intercept three times three or four times and you have the cooldown and it's pretty easy because like having that haymaker allows you to do like two intercepts which is free you can do the block hit like i i did and yeah man like she has decent damage i didn't even test the mr fantastic synergy but i've seen some videos of that it's pretty nice because you, you get have debuffs every single uh time but yeah i don't know if i would rank her up i'm gonna see where i place in the tier list but that's that's a pretty average champion i would say now, i wouldn't say she's op but she has she would have some uses for sure those debuffs are amazing yeah guys let me know what you think about titania i was fun using her with synergies uh, a bit frustrating on the realm of legends ai with it being defensive but old man longin was actually really nice really aggressive just how we wanted him to be and yeah if you enjoyed this video please give it a like subscribe and i will see you in the next one